quickly, I promise to be sh sharp. I'm teaching on multiplying through his favor. Multiplying. In the year of multiplication, we need the favor of God to aggressively multiply. Genesis chapter 4 verse 4, the Bible says, And Abel, he also brought of the first, firstlings of his flock, and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and his offering. And when I was looking deeper for the word respect, and the translation said, and the Lord favored Abel. What makes people respect you is not your size, but it is with the size of favor you carry. In the book of Exodus chapter 2 and verse 25, and God looked upon the children of Israel, and God had respect unto them. They were not the only, like, you see, the children of Israel were not the only set of people living at that time on earth. There were other tribes, don't forget. But why did God so much pick interest on the children of Israel? God picked on the children of Israel. And do you know they were the most terrible set of people on earth? Stiff-necked, ungrateful, but yet God loved them. That's what favor does. Then what is favor? I define favor from the book of Genesis as God having respect for you. Can you imagine God saying, you know what, I respect you so much. You know what that means? For God to say, I respect you. God doesn't do anything for somebody he doesn't regard. God having respect for you. From the book of Genesis chapter 39 verse 21. What is favor? Favor means that God becomes so gracious and kind to you. That scripture was talking about may the good God become gracious and kind unto you. When God wants to favor you, becomes good to you. He becomes kind to you. God becomes gracious. From the book of Exodus chapter 2 verse 25. What is favor? Favor means that God begins to notice you. God, the Bible says, and God looked upon the children of Israel. God took note of them. A translation said, and the Lord took note of them. He said, I, I noticed that person. He has been suffering for many years. Angel Gabriel, go and change the story around. Angel Michael, go and end it. Enough of the suffering. I've spotted him where he is. Let me tell you, if you pray and you don't have favor, you can't get results. Now, you can increase in favor. That means that favor has dimensions. In the book of Psalm, 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 26, the Bible talked about Samuel was growing in favor. So Samuel did not arrive where he was. It wasn't the favor he started with, he ended with. So favor has levels and dimensions. You have to constantly grow in favor. The Bible says, and the child was growing in favor. It was growing in favor. So there is a need to grow in favor for you to multiply. There is a need to grow in favor. So quickly, how do you grow in favor? Number one, you have to find favor. You have to find favor. In the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 4, it says, so, sh so shall thou find favor. So shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. So you have to find it. What you don't look for, you don't get it. You have to find favor. You have to find it. In everything you are looking for in year 2022, be looking for favor. And where do you get the favor? You find it in the presence of God. I'm not saying you should find favor in the hands of men. No. When you get favor before God, men want to favor you. Number two. For you to find favor, you need to find Jesus. For you to find favor, you need to find Jesus. In the book of Proverbs chapter 8 verse 35, For whosoever findeth me, findeth life. And after you find life, the Bible says, shall obtain favor of the Lord. Because his life, Jesus so when you find life, you find favor. So how do you find favor? You find favor by first finding Jesus. Because when you find Jesus, you have life. 
then when you have life eternal in you, then you live a guaranteed life of favor. Number three, how do you increase? How do you grow in favor? You need to live a good life for you to increase in favor. The Bible said in the book of Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 2, it said, a good man obtained favor of the Lord. He didn't say a bad man. A good man. So in everything you'll be doing here 2022, please be good. Be good to people. Be kind to people. Be kind to your neighbors. Be kind to the needy. Be kind to the less privileged. Honestly speaking, it might not look like this is important, but it's important. Find a good wife. Hallelujah. Find a good wife. I'm telling you, if you are looking for favor, just look for a wife that is good. <laughs> just look, just, just look, just look for a good wife. It is an automatic access to the realm of favor. Do you see what I call it? What? Automatic what? Access to the realm of favor. When you get the right partner, it is an automatic access to the realm of favor. For he that findeth a good wife, not a bad wife. Oh. The Bible says he has found a good thing and then obtain it, which means continuously without stop. So how do you increase in favor? You increase in favor in your life when God brings you the right partner. So please don't make mistake to marry wrongly. Marry right. Number five, how do you increase in favor? You increase in favor by an angelic visitation. When the angels of God visit you, it is a direct confirmation that you are about to increase into the realm of favor. This year, angels will be visiting people live in this ministry. Yeah. Number six, you grow in favor through radiance and glory. You grow in favor through radiance and glory. Psalm 31 verse 16, project that scripture for me quickly. So when the glory of God rests upon you, you shine. He said, make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. You make thy face to shine upon me. And what does that mean? It's the radiance and the glory of God. When it shines in your direction, it looks like the world is looking at you physically. What brings people to lamb light is the lamp of God shining on you. So what happens when favor comes? We quickly, number one. When favor comes, there is multiplication. And when multiplication comes, number one is you saved. Psalm 80 verse 3. Turn us again, O God, and cause thy face to shine upon us. And when thy face shine upon us, we shall be what? We shall be saved. When the favor of God shines upon you, it saves you. It saves you from destruction. A thousand will fall at thy side and ten thousand at the right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you see and behold what is happening to other people, but they are not permitted to touch you. Come near your dwelling or your loved ones. You are saved. Number two, restoration follows when favor is walking your direction through multiplication. Three, quickly, you increase when favor finds you, and when you find favor, Hosea chapter 1 verse 10, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured or numbered. When favor is at work, increase comes. Number four, when favor comes, your own is exalted. Psalm 89 verse 17. For thou art the glory of their strength and thy favor, and by thy favor our horn has been exalted. By thy favor my horn is exalted. Five, when favor comes, you are lifted. There is lifting. Number six, when favor comes, joy increases, weeping and crying hands. Because when the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, when the Lord restored back them, the Bible said they were like they that dream it. 
Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 17. The Lord thy God is in the midst of thee. Not only, but the Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. So, God is saying to us, where you are is the right place. God is mighty here with us. God is mighty. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. And what will he do? Because he's mighty, he will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. All you need to do is go to bed, sleep like a baby, wake up like a baby, and watch God take responsibility. Shall we rise?